The black community suffers from the worst health disparities. The Minister of Wellness Ministries is the only pro-black Bible-based health ministry of its kind. We teach biblical health principles that can eradicate obesity and disease. We have everything you need to feel better than you've ever felt in your life. Act now to get your biblical health ebook and DVD both for free. TheMinisterOfWellness.com, TheMinisterOfWellness.com. Hello everyone, it's me, Demetra K of the Demetra K Show here on YouTube and a proud contributor of the African Diaspora News Channel and the African Diaspora News Insider. If you could please do me a favor and subscribe to all channels and like this video, I would greatly appreciate it. So on December 12th in Florida, three teenage girls, one holding a baby and one pregnant with a baby, decided to walk into the Beauty Plug Online uh, Beauty Supply and do the following. Check it out. So as you saw there, they were pretending like, you know, they were interested in buying wigs, but in essence, they weren't. They had planned all along to walk out or run out with the wigs. Now, from the video I just showed you, you can't really see what happened. So check the video out from this angle. That's, that's deep wave. This is, I think this one is deep wave. That one? Yeah. But it says, this one's keep. Oh my God, this is so raw. I like that blind. This is 30 inches. Can I see the blind? The straight one. The straight one? You should get that long one. I can see how this that, one um, that one look real, that purple one. Can I see that um, black one? Just that black one? Mm -hmm. Can you see this all black one? Mm -hmm. This one I read, I put this. That's one. I mean, that's the one. It's gonna look long, dummy, on me. This is all black one. This gonna look long, dummy, dummy. Mm -hmm. I know, right? Is this right? Yeah, this is right. This is here. Oh my god. Let me put this bitch on me. Put it on me, please. I'm finna buy this one. Well, I'm finna buy this one. This one. Let's 30 inches. I need this one for a photo shoot. Hell, how? How many inches does it? She said a 30. I'm on 30. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What happened? No, don't, don't chase them. Don't chase them. So as you saw there, they actually pepper sprayed the young lady behind the counter, I guess, to uh, create some sort of diversion so that they could run away with the wigs. And so after that, those young ladies, and I'm saying, you know, ladies very, very loosely here, decided to send messages to the store, threatening messages. And I'm going to try to read them to you as best I can because it is pretty disgusting. But check it out. So it goes on to say, we don't give a F that you black B. And then uh, it also says, at the beauty plug online, you and your BA daughter finna get it again. Then they also say, F your daughter B, and y'all get the point, okay? So it went on and on, basically threatening them that they better bag back and you, you should have gave her a wig and just the most ignorant the verbiage you can, can hear today, okay? So anyway, the owner of the store put out a message saying, okay, this is the last time I'm going to post about this unless there is an update from... BSO. And so all three girls have been identified and they will face justice in due time. Many have asked for the video and until now I have refrained for several reasons. But first and foremost, as a mother, it's hard to watch my child be victimized and hear her screams. Now my child is being victimized again because of the false information uh, being spread. I am releasing the video now so there are no more questions or confusion about what actually occurred and we can move forward. Neither I nor my daughter ever had interacted with these ladies prior to this incident. And so the ladies are saying that they were being rude to them, that the daughter was being rude and all this other stuff. But the video, it doesn't show that she was being rude. It shows that she was actually being pretty helpful. And if you ask me, just a little too trusting. But maybe she was thinking, okay, well, you know, one's got a baby on her hip. 
And the other one is pregnant, because so surely they're not going to be up to any shenanigans. But boy, was she wrong. And so anyway, I don't know the names of those young ladies, uh, but you guys can see their faces. But I will say this. This is very problematic. Like, you are willing to go to jail for wigs. Not, you know, Similac or diapers, but wigs, somebody else's hair, you willing to go to jail for, I, you know, and when I was watching this video, I wanted to know who are these young ladies, mamas and daddies, like who raised these ladies to think it's okay to go. And another thing, you harmed another person to get wigs. You sprayed her with pepper spray. You don't know if she was allergic to that, if that would have killed her or any of that. And not to mention the emotional drama and trauma you cause the lady, the young lady working behind the counter, earning an honest living in her family's business. You're behind some wigs. Y'all, I'm, I'm flabbergasted. Like, this is, this is, is this what we've come to? To where we, as black women, are harming people for wigs? You ain't going to be able to wear that wig in prison. So what's the point? What is the point? Like, we have got to do something, right? Because, you know, we complain about black women. I know this ain't all black women because I don't even know black women who act like that. But I just want to say this. We complain about black women being disrespected. But yet we, and I say we because it takes a village, right? We are raising Young ladies to think that it's okay to go harm another black woman. And then you want to bully her because she doesn't like what you did to her. You know? And then also, you know, the Asian salons, yeah, they have their problems too. But you get a black salon, I'm, I'm assuming it's not too far from where they are because they ran off. So you get one in the neighborhood and you go in there and you do that? Come on, black women. Get your daughters. Get yourself in check. Like, we've got to do something about this. But I'm going to shut up because I'm a, I can rant and rave about this forever. But this is horrible. Horrible. And I don't, you know, wish any bad on those ladies. But I think they should get a little bit more than a slap on the wrist for what they did. They need to sit and think about it. Not only that, you potentially going to get your baby and the one that's in your stomach because you look like he was about to do. They going to end up probably in the system because you went and pepper sprayed somebody for wigs. Oh my God. So anyway, for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace. Colonization never ended in the white supremacist system. And as we see today, the colonization is in the mind. Now, those who have been enslaved and those who have been colonized, we're still dealing with the remnants of that through the colonization of the mind. Pick up my book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind, and we will help deprogram you from the colonization that was put upon you by generations and generations of white supremacy. You can pick it up today on Amazon.com.